Kajuani Johani Hine Johani Kajuani Johani Sego zua guego wat kanu alado ne gali wunagale and uh just to let you know, the State Regional Hot Chabo Council has declared a state of emergency within the territory of Akwazasne due to severe flooding along the St. Regis River. Joining me now for the official statement is uh, State Regional Hot Chabo Communications Director, Brendan White. Sego, Brendan. Sego, Kevin. Uh, Sego, Zeguego to our viewers. Um, as you know, I work as the communications director for St. Regis Mohawk Tribe, but I also work as the public information officer for the Unified Incident Command. And the Tribal Council, as you mentioned this afternoon, issued a declaration for a state of emergency, which I will now read. The St. Regis Mohawk Tribal Council has declared a state of emergency within the territory of Akwazasne due to severe flooding along the St. Lawrence, the St. Regis River. The Tribal Council signed Tribal Council Resolution 2018-08 today due to the imminent threat to life and property because of the high water levels and ice jams. Quote, the declaration of a state of emergency is pursuant to the inherent power of the tribe to act in the best interest of tribal members, noted Tribal Chief Eric Thompson. He added, we take immense responsibility in protecting public safety and the welfare of all community members, particularly those that are currently being impacted by flooding. The state of emergency in Aquazosting was declared approximately 5 p.m. this afternoon and will remain in effect during the duration of the severe flooding. It renders all available tribal resources and assistance vital to preserve and protect the security, well-being, and health of local residents located in the flood areas. Quote, we want to all of our community members to please be safe during the flooding, said Tribal Chief Beverly Cook. She added, residents being impacted by the high water level should exercise caution and evacuate if they have not already done so. On Wednesday, February 21st, the Tribal Council signed Tribal Council Resolution 2018 to order a 72-hour precautionary evacuation order for the area's along the St. Regis River, which remains in effect until Saturday, February 24th. While the order is not mandatory, it covers an area east and west of the St. Regis River from Helena North Road to the northern border of the tribe's jurisdiction. Since that time, the water level has remained stable and ice jams have remained in place resulting in the National Weather Service to extend the flood warning until 7 p.m. this evening. When the warning is lifted, residents in the flood areas will not be able to immediately return as the water level in the ice jams slowly begin to recede. We continue to encourage community members to please be prepared for any type of natural hazard, noted Tribal Chief Michael Connors. He also added, please follow instructions provided by our community's first responders and develop your own family's emergency preparedness plan, which may require being unable to return to your home for several days. Now, a unified incident command post has been put in place to take the lead role in monitoring the high water levels and ice jams along the St. Regis River, as well as to assist residents impacted by the flooding. It is comprised of the tribe's emergency planning office, the St. Regis Mohawk Tribal Police Department, and the Hugensburg Aquazosne Volunteer Fire Department, with support from county and state agencies. The unified incident command post will provide further information and instructions in response to the flooding on 97FM CKON on the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe's Facebook and website, as well as on Aquazosne TV. Once again, for assistance with evacuations, please contact the St. Regis Mohawk Tribal Police at 518-358-9200 or Franklin County Emergency Services at 911. Now, I want to share with you that approximately at the same time that the state of declaration was issued, we experienced a power outage in the hamlet of Hugensburg. National Grid is currently on the scene, and I'm going to be giving an update. At this time, more than 100 households are experiencing a power outage. Uh, there is a large location down Cook Road that currently impacts 95 households. National Grid estimates that power will be restored to them by 7.15 p- 7 p.m. this evening. There are two other locations, one located on McGee Road that is impacting five residents. They estimate power will be restored to them by 9 p.m. 
and another uh, down Cook Road, uh, around Cook Road, Tarbo Road area that is impacting less than five households and they estimate power will be restored by 8.30 p.m. Now, in the meantime, if anyone is experiencing any heat loss, the Senior Center, Office for the Aging, or GDedwat.com in Hugginsburg will be open until 10 p.m. this evening. So thank you for that. So if, if you don't mind, you know what the uh, plan would be for the upcoming days? Well, right now we're still dealing with responding to requests for assistance to help individuals evacuate their households. Uh, and then after that, uh, we will begin developing a plan to help people transition back into their homes. Again, you know, we're, we're looking at uh, an incident that is going to last uh, for the full duration, okay. you know. All right, well, Nyawa Gofer is talking with us, Nyawa. Yo. So, once again, the St. Richard's Mohawk Tribal Council has declared a state of emergency within the territory of Aquazustin due to severe flooding along the St. Richard's River. Reporting for Aquazustin TV, I'm Kevin Lazor. <laughs> Yo, honey, eh,